What's going on guys? So I've trained a lot this week and oh actually I should probably tell you what this video is on. So this video is going to be on overtraining and if it exists. And obviously overtraining exists. There's undertraining, there's overtraining. But the amount of exercise and lack of sleep and nutrition that you will have to do to fit really overtrain, which is a nervous system problem you will not reach. You will break down, you'll get sick, you'll do something before that happens. Now you can't overreach to the point that you are no longer making progress and that's what a lot of people call overtraining, which is also bad. So how do you avoid overreaching to the point that you start to see negative results? And the best way to do that is to cycle your training. So you have heavy phases, light phases, and high volume, low volume, etc. So you can't go in the gym every week, week after week, and do 30 exercises per body part and try to go heavy on all of them. You will burn yourself out and you will stop making progress. Now, that being said, you can do that for maybe a couple of weeks and then cut back for a week and do it again. And this way you're keeping progress and you can see your results and have something to compare it to. So you have to have training cycles where you see consistent improvements and over time they can be very good improvements. So cycling your training. Now for me, I go typically four weeks and I'll build up. So my light, if I have a light training phase, it's I train once a day for five days in one week and it's medium volume, medium weight. And that's what I'll give myself once a month, typically, to allow myself to recover a little bit more. And then all my other workouts are high intensity, high weight, and training about seven times a week. And the week before I take time off, I'll train twice a day for five days straight and really shock my body and then give it adequate time, sleep, and nutrition to recover. And I find that's what works for me, but you have to find out what works for yourself. So... Overtraining, does it exist? Yes. Have you reached overtraining? I don't think so. Um, in my opinion, you need to do what you feel good about, but don't be afraid to overreach a little bit because you won't know where your limits are unless you exceed them. So maybe go a little bit too far, have one or two crappy workouts, pull yourself back, recover, and know, okay, when I've been training extremely hard for four weeks, I need to take it back for a week so that I don't hit that overreaching phase where I'm no longer being productive. So that's my take on it. Hope this is useful. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.